what's up you checking out the frequent flyer and I'm out here with my freestyle the tiny hawk freestyle and I did do some modifications to it did chop shop it so you can see I have an XC30 on it I do have a buzzer and all but I think my buzzer might have come loose a little so my buzzer isn't really working correctly I don't think at the moment I have to resolder it it came loose from me touching it and all I think I might make it a little closer to the board so but for the most part pretty successful really nice chop shop with it I advise you guys to go check it out on my other channel the chop shop channel frequent flyers RC chop shop but enough of that I'm out here with this thing and I'm gonna test it with one of my favorite 2s packs this is the 400 milliamp hour infinity graphene pack 2s 70c check it out and so I'm gonna check it out with that another thing that I noticed with this I was flying this with a 550 GMB pack 2s and I switched it to profile 2 now I think Emacs had profile 2 um, tuned for 2s and I think profile 1 is maybe for 1s and I think that's why we're getting the uh, oscillations and stuff when we first uh, fly this thing on 2s and all with the two battery packs and all because uh, pit profile 2 is maybe the profile that we needed to be on I was flying it with a 550 pack I was doing punch outs and all and it sounds smooth and everything I didn't have to do any changes to the pids or anything I just switched it to profile 2 so when you guys get your tiny hawk freestyle try that before anything before messing around with the tune because I heard that beta flight 4.0 and up it's a little harder to tune I don't understand why yet because I haven't tried to tune anything on uh, 4.0 or, or up but that's the word out that it's harder to tune things on that version of beta flight so I recommend trying profile 2 really works really well with an XT30 and 550 pack I'm thinking that maybe it might work um, out of box really well but anyhow Let's get this thing up in the air. I still have it on profile too. So we'll see how this setup here works with it. I do have some of the new, I do have some of the new Racer Star um, 65 millimeter tri blades that I want to try out. But first I want to try these out. And uh, yeah, let's get this thing up in the air. I'm thinking about doing another chop shop on it to uh, swat swap out the uh, antenna there for the VTX and so maybe I'll do some FPD for that okay so let's get it in the air check it out still quiet as usual let's try a punch out you guys hear that no oscillations or anything on the punch out check it out again wow the punch out is a lot better too I don't know if it's because of the XT30 or is it just because of the better tune that it has on Profile 2, but this thing is flying really nice, punching out really nice as well. Sounds really quiet and smooth on the punch out now. So yeah, try. I recommend trying Profile 2 when you guys get this in the mail. I know a lot of you guys are probably just receiving it. Check out the punch out. Man, this thing is smooth. It'll probably fly longer too. Check it out. 
how quiet this thing is. Just a joy to fly this thing, guys. Do another punch out. Another one. And I'm not gonna fly this thing to the end of the pack, unfortunately, because I don't have my buzzer working correctly. Let's try it. Yep. Well, we can kind of hear it. <laughs> you can tell it's loose, though. fly it too long but it's hard to stop flying this thing <laughs> sound like I hear the buzzer going off now oh it's just because the way I was flying there's a mosquito bite bothering me yeah I'm hear hearing the buzzer when I do punch outs now Okay, it's near the end. That's full throttle. And it's down. <laughs> so this thing does come down pretty nice. <laughs> Just a soft come down, so to say. But that's a, a quick demo flight of this new Tiny Hawk Freestyle XT30 mod done. Flying it with an Infinity 450 milliamp hour graphene pack. Buzzer added, but currently loose on the solder joints. <laughs> Thanks for watching.